evening everyone, this is Chris Saraga for the 365. I'm out here in the Thermalito After Bay. I thought I'd show you how it looks now on this beautiful day out here. So here we go. So I thought I'd keep us pointed kind of towards the water there. I'm sorry, towards the land so I can give you a little reveal of the water. So, the Thermalito After Bay. This is one of my favorite spots in this entire area. You can go jet skiing out here. I'm at what's called Monument Hill. I don't know if very many of you guys know what that is, but Monument Hill is one of the two boat launches that are in the thir at the Thermalito After Bay. They are both free, so I come out here and jet ski all the time. I absolutely love it out here. Let's get us panned around and kind of let's fly a little. I like flying. <laughs> so this time I have some backup auto audio being recorded, so even if the signal fades or does anything strange, we should still be okay. We're heading, we are facing, right there, we are facing Highway 70. We're going almost directly west right now. Quite a bit over the water. As you can see, it is very full, but that is kind of normal for the after bay. Okay. So, that is kind of normal for the after bay. It is down, I would say it's down just uh, three, four feet down from what it normally is. But they use this area uh, to actually heat up the water for the rice fields and for the uh, river itself. Now I'm too far away to fly over to the output, which is right over in that area. So I'm too far away to fly for that. I do have some information for you though while we pan around here on the, um, let me see if we can get this a little lighter. There we go. So to pan around, on, as I pan around the area here, uh, it is right now, the river is at about 8,000 cubic feet a second, but that is gonna change tomorrow. Tomorrow they plan on opening the gates again and um, go from 9 a.m. to about, I believe it's five o'clock, they will go from 8,000 up to 30,000 cubic feet a second for the third and what they've told us is the final spill of this, of this entire, um, well, this entire incident, I guess would be the best way to say that. I've got too many devices here. I'm trying to juggle at once while I'm recording. Hopefully that's still recording there. So, yes, we, uh, so we, are going to have the last spill of the season and then they're going to close and repair the spillway. I'm trying to get up there and be able to show you guys what it looks like up in that area and I will get to that. I'm good. I have Friday off of my normal job so I will get out there and I will do that for you guys. There we go, we just got a beautiful day today. It's nice and warm, I'd say it's about 80 degrees out right now. That's a guess, because I don't actually have my thermometer up right now. So we're flying out kind of towards Highway 70 right now. You can see the valley's just beautiful. So let me orient you. So if I turn us this way, that directly that way is Gridley. Obviously the Sutter Buttes are right there. So in that general area is Gridley, Live Oak, and all that. If I turn this back this way, let's try to go a little slower so you don't lose you here. We go that way, just about that direction is Chico. Turn a little bit this way. We got Thermalito in that general direction. And then right there is where I am at now. That's Monument Hill. It's actually a really nice place. I don't know if you guys have ever been out here, but you should uh, come on out here. Like I said, it was free. And uh, you can come out here and launch your boat, uh, jet skis, uh, 
power boats, any kind of boat that I can, that will fit down this ramp, I believe you can do it here. So it is an amazing place to jet ski. I can tell you that for sure because I come out here all the time. There's only one spot I like a little better and it's on the other side on the Larkin side, which I will show you another time. Let's get down a little ways here. Come a little closer. bring us back just to make sure that so what you're looking at right there is the launch ramp and so this this is artificially kept at the level that it is it is it I don't know exactly what determines that I will look that up for you guys um, but I do know that this is um, where the div water from the diversion pool goes that so there's a dam at the diversion pool with a bunch of sluice gates and those are generally closed up and it diverts the water into the first the four bay which is let me kind of point you that way so the four bay is that way and then it goes from the four bay to the after bay and then from the after bay it gets spilled back into the river which is whoops which is this direction right here so all of this water gets heated. I don't think any place in this entire area is deeper than 26 feet. So it allows the solar radiation to heat up this entire area, which is great. And then they take this warmer water, mix it with the colder water from the dam to keep the river levels, uh, river water levels uh, where they should be uh, in temperature and uh, amounts. And then also they use this same water to uh, water the rice fields, which are just over that way. Actually, it's along this entire area, all along here. Actually, as far as you can see, now I don't want to get the drone up too high around here. There is an airport close by, so I want to make sure that it's down low. I do want to make sure that, uh, that you guys know that there's rice fields all along that entire area on a good hundreds of square miles around. There we go. Let's see if I can orient back on me and fly guys. There we go. So I lost Facebook audio once again at the very end there. I'm working on steps to make sure that that doesn't happen again. But anyway, this is all we have left is just a little quick flyby and back to me. So I'm just going to cut this video a little short. Thank you very much for watching. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And definitely share that YouTube channel. De I need some more subscriptions there so I can post these straight to YouTube. So it doesn't, you know, once again, um, make it so I lose FaceTime audio and those kind of things. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.